The ETI is an important link between academia, industry and the government in low-carbon technology innovation. Our role is to bring together engineering projects that accelerate the development of affordable, secure and sustainable technologies that helps the UK address its long-term emissions reductions targets as well as delivering nearer-term benefits. When addressing long-term emissions reductions targets, carbon capture and storage is one of two critical levers alongside bioenergy in delivering an affordable, secure and sustainable UK energy system. We're accelerating the implementation of CCS technology on fossil fuel-fired power stations and other major CO2 sources in the UK by demonstrating innovative technology, which reduces the capital and operating costs of capture processes. The UK Storage Appraisal Project has delivered a realistic, fully auditable assessment of potential CO2 storage capacity sites in the UK. The unique web-enabled database contains geological data, storage estimates, risk assessments and economics of nearly 600 potential CO2 storage units of depleted oil and gas reservoirs and saline aquifers around the UK. This has now been licensed to the Crown Estate and the British Geological Survey, who've made it publicly available online under the brand CO2 Stored. CCS Next Generation Coal Capture Technology has produced a front-end engineering study design for a carbon capture pilot plant capable of capturing up to 95% of carbon dioxide emissions from coal-fired power stations. This is aimed at pre-combustion carbon capture applications involving CO2 removal by physical separation. CCS Next Generation Gas Capture Technology is seeking to design a 5 megawatt carbon capture demonstration plant capable of capturing up to 95% of carbon dioxide emissions from gas power stations. The technology will be designed to be used on new build combined cycle gas turbine power stations or to retrofit CCS onto CCGT power stations. CCS System Modeling Toolkit seeks to support the future design, operation and rollout of cost-effective CCS systems in the UK through a modeling toolkit capable of simulating the operation of all aspects of the CCS chain, from capture and transport to storage and maintenance. The toolkit will be used to identify and understand system-wide operational issues. Minerals and CO2 can react together to permanently store CO2 as a solid carbonate product which can then be safely stored, used as an aggregate, or turned into useful end products such as bricks or filler for concrete. There's an abundance of suitable materials available in the UK and worldwide to meet such mitigation targets. However, challenges remain to make the capture process economically attractive and to reduce its level of energy use. The High Hydrogen Project will identify the bounds of safe design and operation of high-efficiency combined cycle gas turbine and combined heat and power systems operating on a range of fuels with high and variable concentrations of hydrogen. This is because hydrogen is likely to be a more important fuel component in the future. The goals of the project are to increase the range of fuels that can be safely used in power and heat generating plants. National Grid, in a co-invested project with the ETI, has carried out the UK's first drilling assessment of a saline formation site for the storage of carbon dioxide. This represents a major step forward in the creation of a CCS industry in the UK for multiple power stations and industrial sites to store their carbon dioxide rather than releasing it into the atmosphere. This £300,000 project was led by Foster Wheeler, in collaboration with the British Geological Survey and assessed the economics of flexible power generation systems involving the production of hydrogen from coal, biomass or natural gas, its intermediate storage and the production of power in flexible turbines. In addition, the project mapped suitable hydrogen storage salt cavern sites in and around the UK. This report was aimed at informing and attracting private sector finance to support the development of CCS in the UK. 
It suggests that successful deployment of CCS could be a huge economic prize for the UK. And making early CCS projects investable is a key priority. This would allow CCS to develop as an industry and fulfil its potential in the UK's transition to a low-carbon economy.